I graduated in 2010. I'm originally from Nepal. I studied uh, political science and media studies. And then I went to New York uh, to help run a nonprofit that I co founded when I was a student here. And after that, I went to graduate school in New York City. And then I started to work at the World Bank in Washington, D.C. That's where I am, and I primarily work on a blog called You Think that hopes to inspire young people like you and me. I'm young too. Uh, and uh, uh, so that young people can uh, work towards ending, ending, ending extreme poverty. It's called You Think. The blog is in six languages, and I think it's very cool. I think, I think, you know, finances are the challenge, but they are not the only problem. So, you know, like, you know, Hillary, I said you know, I said earlier in the talk, right? Um, when I graduated, I didn't have money. I got about $250 or something from the rulers, and then I went to New York City. <laughs> that was it. I didn't know what to do. And so I think that there are other options that would open some. Uh, opportunities that opens up, and so like maybe maybe you want to think about not about the organization right now. Maybe you want to think about what you can do here, right now, right here. At the end of the day, my success and your success, or your failure and my failure, is almost related. And here is why: if you do well, people will think BB is a good school. So when I tell them I'm a graduate of BB. Like, oh wow, you're that, you're that cool guy. You got from TV, this is a cool place. And then later on, maybe they'll give me a job too. But if you all fail, then I tell them, look, I'm a graduate from BV. And they're like, ah, oh, man, you are a loser too. I'm a <laughs> so, I think we all have to work together to make sure we are, you know, we are being successful in whatever we do.